Thanks for checking out this video. So this is one of my opinion videos that I started doing, and my hopes in putting these out there is that it'll give people a little bit of thought to kind of mentally chew on, and hopefully it, you know, just gets people thinking, maybe change, changes a few minds. So this topic, I'm actually going to hit something that uh, I was contacted by longtime subscriber Uncle Pete for my channel, and he was like, hey, I think this would be a really good topic, and he's 100% right. So it is about, you know, why you should be watching foreign films and not just films that were foreign films that end up being remade into your, you know, your own language. But I'm speaking mainly to the American audience because I feel like that's where the biggest, in my opinion, problem is with this, of people not wanting to watch foreign films. They just want them in English to watch. Um, so I just kind of want to go over why I think it's important to actually watch foreign films and before I go into that, I do understand that this is a disclaimer. I know there are some people who really cannot watch foreign films because they can't do subtitles. Now, whether that's a situation like my mother who really can't do it because she has migraine issues. So if she's focusing like that and, you know, reading like that, she has a migraine. So that is 100% understandable. I understand it for those people. Also, people who are visually impaired and just literally have a hard time or just cannot read subtitles, I also get it for that. So I'm mainly speaking to people who have the ability to read subtitles without an actual problem and just refuse to do it because they just don't feel like it or they're lazy or whatever. So this is kind of my appeal to say why it's important to watch these. First of all, it is the initial filmmaker's vision that you would end up seeing. And I always feel like that's the truest form of what the film should be. Now, especially if it's a writer-director, you know, someone who wrote the script and then directs it as well, think a wonderful film, one of my favorite films actually of all time, Old Boy by uh, Chamwook Park. That film is unbelievable. Now, it did get an American remake, which I refused to see because I was like, there is absolutely no way it will be as good or better than the original film. And for that reason, there's no point for me to see it. And from what I heard, <laughs> They significantly changed the story. It was, they tried to do kind of almost like a shot to shot, shot for shot remake um, with that one, but they changed a bunch of stuff too. And it just, it watered down the story. It wasn't nearly as good. And that's the risk that you run. The magic that was captured with that initial film and why it ends up becoming actually um, popular and, and goes past the boundaries of whatever country it was created in it's a magical film. It was lightning in a bottle in some of these situations. Or it's the beginning of a wonderful career of these filmmakers. And you should want to support these filmmakers too. You know, there are so many instances where American films don't just stay within the United States. A lot of them go overseas and are seen overseas. So I feel like we should be open to reciprocating that and helping grow film industries in other countries. If there's a filmmaker who's done a great job in another country, don't just demand that their film be remade into English so you can watch it. Demand to see that person's film because let's get them more attention. Let's get them more work. Let's get them more money so they're successful. They deserve it. They're the ones who came up with the story, potentially if they did the script, and who executed the film and wonderfully. You know, another good example, Uncle Pete had actually told me, the film Troll Hunter by uh, Andre Overdahl. You know, now he works within the United States, but um, if you haven't seen Troll Hunter, it's a wonderful film. It hasn't been remade. I don't think it will be remade. I hope it's not remade. Um, another one uh, by, I forget his first name, but Alfredson is his last name. Let the Right One In. Unbelievable film. And that was another one that did get a remake in the United States. I heard that was one that actually the remake was not bad. They did try and do a shot for shot remake of it, but why? What is the real purpose? Like, I understand that Hollywood sees an opportunity to take material that they know is successful, re remake it, repackage it, and give it to an audience that doesn't want to watch a film that has subtitles, and then make money off it. Like, I understand why it's done. I just think as film viewers, we should be going to the source. We should be helping out the filmmakers who are making these. And like I said, helping to promote film industry within those countries. And if we don't do that, then we're just setting up a situation where if there's a good filmmaker from another country, all they can really hope for is that they get enough attention that Hollywood sees their film, they like it, and they remake it. 
that's not really helping that person. I mean, it does to a degree, but it's not helping them to the degree that we should be helping them out. So the other thing is this. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, I just don't feel like it. I just don't want to read when I'm watching a movie. Like, I understand. And I definitely have had times where I want to watch a foreign film, but I'm tired. So I know I can't actually stick with it. And I'm not a person who wants to watch films in pieces. I don't want to watch a portion of the film, stop and come back to it the next day. I want to finish it all in one sitting. So I get that. So just wait for an opportunity when you're feeling more awake and then do it. The big thing is the way your brain operates, you're only really cognizant of the fact that you're reading while you're watching the film for about the first five to 10 minutes. And then your brain confuses it or actually not really confuses it, your brain integrates it to a point where you, you become not even aware that that's what's going on because of the way you start kind of seamlessly processing it. Now, I, I also know there are some issues that people run into where certain languages move a lot faster, so the translations aren't on the screen as, as long. I found that for certain languages as well. Like certain languages that are very easy for me, you know, like, you know, South Korean or Japanese, you know, there are a lot of those types of languages that they don't move super fast. But uh, I found that Russian has moved a little bit faster for me personally. I think Thai um, has moved a little bit faster for me. And sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time keeping up because I'm not a super fast reader. But I stick it out and make sure that I do it because you're missing out on some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful film. So... That's kind of my pitch for this. I, you know, I know that there are probably people who see this and will be like, well, that doesn't really change my mind. But really, my biggest call is really support these filmmakers, please. And I want to leave you with a few more recommendations. Obviously, I already gave Troll Hunter, Old Boy, and Let the Right One In. Those are wonderful. Also, I want to say Dogs Don't Wear Pants, which is on Shudder at the moment. Also, Impedigore, which is on Shudder at the moment. Are wonderful, wonderful foreign films. Uh, a lot of people have talked about La Llorona, which is also on Shudder. I did a review for that one. Actually, I've done a review for all of these, pretty much. Uh, actually, I have done a, a, a review for all of them. There are a lot of wonderful, wonderful foreign films on Shudder. And I think it's time that we as American viewers start to really support filmmakers from outside of our borders. I think we owe it at this point. Just saying. But... I would love to get your opinion on things. Maybe there's something I'm leaving out of this argument on my side of the argument. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing from the other side. Feel free to put it in the comments because I'm totally open to new opinions, new ideas, or angles that I missed, you know, and because that happens. This is just my opinion. You know, I'm not saying that if you still go forward and refuse to watch uh, foreign films that you're a bad person or anything. I don't believe that. I'm just trying to give my pitch for why I think we should do this. So, but anyway, yeah, put some comments down there. We'll talk about it and do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button because if you like this video or any video I've ever done, that really helps me out. It keeps me motivated to go and it helps to grow this kind of nerdy horror community I'm working on building here. So I would appreciate that. Also hit the notification bell button because that way you know whenever I'm putting up another uh, video like this or review video, unboxing, any of that stuff. But regardless, thanks for taking your time to check this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.